Okay, Torah portion, Sukkot. It is Leviticus 22:26 through Leviticus 23, uh, 20. Sorry, through Leviticus 23:44 and Numbers 29:12 through 16. Let's get started. <clears throat> and Yahovah spoke to Moshe, saying, When a bull or a sheep or a goat is born, it shall be seven days with its mother, and from the eighth day and thereafter it is acceptable as an offering made by fire to Yahovah. But do not slay a cow or a sheep or and its young on the same day. And when you slaughter a slaughtering of thanksgiving to Yahovah, slaughter it for your acceptance. It is eaten that same day, leave none of it till morning. I am Yahovah. And you shall guard my commands and do them. I am Yahovah. And do not profane my set apart name, and I shall be set apart among the children of Israel. I am Yahovah, who set you apart, who bought who brought you out of the land of Mitzrayim to be your Elohim. I am Yahovah. And Yahovah spoke to Moshe, saying, Speak to the children of Israel and say to them, The appointed times of Yahovah, which you are to proclaim as set apart gatherings, my appointed times are these. Six days work is done, but the seventh day is a Sabbath of rest, a set apart gathering. You do no work. It is a Sabbath to Yahovah in all your dwellings. These are the appointed times of Yahovah set apart gatherings which you are to proclaim at their appointed times. In the first new moon, on the fourth, fourteenth day of the new moon, between the evenings is the Pesach to Yehovah. And on the fifteenth day of this new moon is the festival of Matzo to Yehovah. Seven days you eat unleavened bread. On the first day you have a set apart gathering. You do no servile work. And you shall bring an offering made by fire to Yehovah for seven days. On the seventh day is a set-apart gathering. You do no servile work. And Yehovah spoke to Moshe, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, and you shall say to them, When you come into the land which I give you, and shall reap its harvest, when you shall bring a sheaf of the first fruits of your harvest to the priest, and he shall wave the sheaf before Yahovah for your acceptance on the morrow after the Sabbath. The priest waves it. And on that day when you wave the sheaf, you shall prepare a male lamb, a year old, a perfect one, as an ascending offering to Yahovah and its grain offering, two tenths of an ephah, a fine flour mixed with oil, an offering made by fire to Yahovah, a sweet fragrance, and its drink offering, one-fourth of a hen of wine, and you do not eat bread or roasted grain or fresh grain until the same day that you have brought an offering to your Elohim, a law forever, throughout your generations, in all your dwellings. And from the morrow after the Sabbath, from the day that you brought the sheaf of the wave offering, you shall count for yourselves seven completed Sabbaths, until the morrow after the seventh Sabbath, you count fifty days. Then you shall bring a new grain offering to Yehovah. Bring from your dwelling for a wave offering two loaves of, of bread of two tenths of an ephah of fine flour they are, baked with leaven first fruits to Yehovah. And besides the bread you shall bring seven lambs a year old, perfect ones, and one young bull, and two rams. They are an ascending offering to Yahovah. With your grain offering and their drink offerings, an offering made by fire for a sweet fragrance to Yahovah. And you shall offer one male goat as a sin offering and two male lambs a year old as a slaughter of peace offerings. And the priest shall wave them besides the bread of the first fruits as a wave offering before Yahovah. Besides the two lambs, they are set apart to Yahovah for the priest. And on this day, you shall proclaim a set apart gathering for yourselves. You do no servile work on it, a law forever in all your dwellings throughout your generations. And when you reap the harvest of your land, do not completely reap the corners of your field. When you reap, 
and do not gather any gleaning from your harvest. Leave them for the poor and for the stranger. I am Yahovah your Elohim. And Yahovah spoke to Moshe, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, In the seventh new moon, on the first day of the new moon, you have a rest, a remembrance of Teruah, a set-apart gathering. You do no servile work, and you shall bring an offering made by fire to Yahovah. And Yahovah spoke to Moshe, saying, On the tenth day of this seventh new moon is Yom Hakapuram. It shall be a set-apart gathering to you, and you shall afflict your beings, and shall bring an offering made by fire to Yahovah. And you do no work on that same day, for it is Yom Kippurim, to make atonement for you before Yahovah your Elohim. For any being who is not afflicted on that same day shall be cut off, from his people, and many being who does emit, and any being who does any work on that same day, that being I shall destroy from the midst of his people. You do no work, a law forever throughout your generations in all your dwellings. It is a Sabbath of rest to you, and you shall afflict your beings on the ninth day of the new moon at evening. From evening to evening you observe your Sabbath. And Yehovah spoke to Moshe, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, On the fifteenth day of this seventh new moon in the festival of Sukkot, for seven days to Yehovah. On the first day is a set-apart gathering. You do no servile work. For seven days you bring an offering made by fire to Yehovah. On the eighth day, there shall be a set-apart gathering for you, and you shall bring an offering made by fire to Yahovah. It is a closing festival. You do no servile work. These are the appointed times of Yahovah, which you proclaim as a set-apart gathering, or as set-apart gatherings, to bring an offering made by fire to Yahovah, an ascending offering and a grain offering, a slaughter and drink offerings as commanded for every day. Besides the Sabbaths of Yahovah and besides your gifts and besides all of your vows and besides all of your voluntary offerings which you give to Yahovah. On the fifteenth day of the seventh new moon when you gather in the fruit of the land celebrate the festival of Yahovah for seven days. On the first day is a rest and on the eighth day is a rest. And you shall take for yourselves on the first day the first, the fruit of good trees, branches and palm trees, twigs and leafy trees, and willows of the stream, and shall rejoice before Yahovah your Elohim for seven days. And you shall celebrate it as a festival to Yahovah for seven days in the, in the year, a law forever in your generations. Celebrate it in the seventh new moon. Dwell in your booths for seven days. All who are native born in Israel dwell in booths, so that your generations know that I made the children of Israel dwell in booths when I brought them <clears throat> out of the land of Mitzrayim. I am Yahovah, your Elohim. Thus did Moshe speak of the appointed times of Yahovah to the children of Israel. Numbers 29, 12-16 <clears throat> And on the fifteenth day of the seventh new moon you have a set-apart gathering. You do no servile work and you shall celebrate a festival of Yaho to Yahovah seven days. And you shall bring near an ascending offering, an offering made by fire, a sweet fragrance, to Yahovah, thirteen young bulls, two rams, fourteen lambs a year old, perfect ones they are, and their grain offering, fine flour mixed with oil, three tenths of an ephah, for each of the thirteen bulls, two tenths for each of the two rams, and one tenth 
for each of the fourteen lambs, and one male goat as a sin offering. Besides the continual ascending offering, it is grain offering, its grain offering, and its drink offering.